What's up, YouTube? So I mostly do live streams. I used to drop a bunch of videos all day, right? But I've been doing a lot of live streams. It's not a beer, it's just water. Uh, so I guess this video will be for tough build people who, uh, I guess, couldn't see the live stream and still want to know or whatever, right? I'm just driving to my courts. So, uh, some guy stole a collectible from me worth uh, 1200 the deal was only like 600 I was giving him a deal. Paid me three, took off with it, and canceled his e-transfer. So I sued his ass, and he's countersuing me for two grand. I don't even know how you countersue someone when you fucking steal. He's mental. And he obviously has brain damage. Uh, it's, it's fucking unreal. I go through enough shit and, and enough bullshit on these, uh, these stocks. Like, I don't want to deal with this shit. I don't want to drive 40 minutes to downtown to deal with this crap, but... Tough bill. So, obviously, we were down, uh... They wouldn't let us over to 200 MA, okay? It was 200 MA, totally controlled, volume was low, unsurprisingly, because we're holding, we're holding. That's why the volume's low, we're holding. The, 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 the short's covering, that's where the volume's going to be coming in, and when they start covering, we're going to see a lot of trading and a lot of FOMO and a lot of scalping, and everything will pick back up. Um, the investor's not looking to come in and just flip for pennies, okay? But they are probably going to pick up all the warrants, 4 million warrants. Those will be exercisable probably, I think it's at like 11.50. That's typically the warrant exercise price. Uh, so they're basically just sitting on to the side until it goes to 11.50, okay? The, the shares they can get up to 8 million I can't I don't think they'll even take all eight but you never know but the whole reason behind that is is because they need seven million to get a uh, um, options chain okay they want to get an options chain on it after their previous dilution and reverse split um, I don't know why when they did the reverse split why they didn't work it so that it just had an options chain obviously this this feels a little pre-planned. Uh, and orchestrated by probably B. Riley or who is Citadel? Citadel owns B. Riley, uh, or or someone, whoever they're using. A little pre-orchestrated doesn't really matter. We went up 200 percent. We gave back about 85 of it. Okay, because because going down 29 and then going down 10, uh, it's actually we we gave up the whole run up, which was 78. So we gave back about 78, 85, uh, 78 percent. Okay. For example, to go from one dollar to two dollars is one hundred percent, but to go from two dollars to one dollar is only fifty percent. Okay, so so to go up two hundred and then down forty-five or whatever, the, the forty-five is actually most of the two hundred. It's half of the two hundred. So, anyways, we're still up. Okay, uh, we still pretty much looks like we own the float, right? We all know that. Uh, someone was reporting that the dark pool was like a size 90. I, I'm not sure if that's real, but I know it's it's at least 60. It's always 60. These plays, it's always like 60 to 70. Red box at one, one day was like 71, okay? Heavily manipulated. As always, these all these plays will be. There's no getting around it. That's why we want to be taking some profits when we can get it. Cover our ass. CMA. Cover my ass. Uh, you know, it's better to chase and get out than it is to hold and it, and it drops and now you're just stuck and you're praying, right? Averaging down is the only thing you can do at that point and I think a lot of people have been doing that, myself included. Um, it's fine. Whatever. I think we... Uh, the SI, the SI is preserved, guys. It's 240. It was 248 uh, something at the high, and it's currently 243. It, it's, it's baffling. I don't know how it's legal. It's not legal for starters, but I don't know how it is allowed to continue without a, an immediate halt of the of the ticker and an investigation. Uh, especially once you're getting into 200, I can see how 100 would happen or or close to it, anyways. Because it's hard to prove who owns what within a two-day period. But once you know that it's oversold, uh, beyond that, that uh, you got we're having some problems here. What's going on? Need to halt it. Need to sort it out. But of course, that's not going to happen because Gary Gensler is a rat bass. 
and he's uh, in the pocket of the of Ken Griffin, straight up. So that ain't, ain't gonna happen. Now these shares, they're not gonna be able to sell them to my knowledge. They actually have to do another filing if they want to sell them. But again, they're it's in the name. They're private placement investment. So they're they're looking to make money on their investment, and they're not looking to penny day trade and flip. Okay, they're not they're not looking to unload for forty five cents profit. Yeah, that's a lot of money on say eight million shares, tons of money. But what's even more money when you know the SI is two thirty seven and there's no shares? Why wouldn't they just hold? They'll just hold. They'll let the shorts get squoze, and then they'll cash. So I'm thinking the best. The best exit for myself, okay, this is what I'll probably be doing, is I'll be looking to exit around 11. Because if there's warrants on there and they want to exercise at 11.50, the day that that happens, the day that it's running, okay, we don't know when now, anytime between now and probably a couple weeks because the SI is high and the cost of borrow is high. The day that it runs, it can go however high, however high, however high you, you want to stick in comfortably yourself, okay? But if it goes over 11.50, that's gonna boom. They're allowed to exercise immediately. So they will, they will, right? Okay, so they'll exercise that. The next day they'll say, offering, conversion, warrants to shares. It's built in, that's how the warrants work, it's built in, but it's like 11.50 strike. The the verbiage is a little weird on the, on the, on the news because it's saying five bucks. But I'm thinking that means the shares, not the warrants. If they choose the warrants, I'm pretty positive it's different. It doesn't make sense to have a warrant execute at five and a, and a share at five because the warrant has a value and a price. So you would just take the share because you're not gonna you're not gonna take the warrant that costs money to execute. That that just doesn't. And you have to do a filing. It doesn't even make any sense at all. So it's they definitely worded it uh, wrong, I believe, when they put out the note. Because that's all it really is. It's like a, it's like an article. It's not a, it's not the actual filing. Okay, the actual filing. We'll see it on the SEC and the investors. Um, so, anyways, yeah, that's that's my safe exit. No moon. No, no gajillion dollars. We get the options chain on. That's going to allow uh, them to potentially manipulate in the long run. But it's going to give us an opportunity. The week that it hits, it's going to give us a real good opportunity to gamma them. We gamma them, we get the whole float into in the money call options or something like that. I'm not going to take any of those, I don't think. Okay, I'll take like uh, 1% of my whole portfolio, I'll pull 1% in at, at the money. Not out of the money, at the money, or in the money, okay? Because those will go up exponentially anyways, and it'll drive price. Because they, they're they going to hedge for whichever direction for max pain. If that's not a term you're familiar with, it just basically means... The most amount of money they make at the most loss of retail. So if retail is going to be handing them $10 calls and $20 calls and shit, they're just going to steal that and keep the price below that. Whereas if it's already in the money stuff, they're screwed. They have to hedge and they have to buy 100 shares. So it's an instant hedge for us, okay? So we gamble them, we squeeze. That day that we squeeze though, okay? So probably that, that day, the Friday evening or the following Monday or something like that, the day we squeeze, that's probably when I'm going to get out. I will reevaluate the position after the fact. I will not attempt to short it. I don't even believe there will be shares available anyways, but my broker is bad for it. It doesn't allow me to pretty much short anything. I tried to short PGY today, hardcore, twice at 1850. Could not get any shares because my broker is a pile of garbage. They never let give me shares. As long as it, if, if, if it's a tough to trade stock, they don't have it. And it was a tough to trade stock. If it's an easy to trade stock, I have no problem shorting it instant, instantly, okay? Um, so that's my thoughts there. We talk about the, quickly talk about the uh, monkeypox plays. They're fired. They're still good. All good to go. GovX, I would be leery personally at this point. It's had quite a bit of running. It's going to need some time to cool. That's just me. I said the same thing about EVFM. Anyone who didn't heed my warning, they saw it go from like $1.30, $1.40 down to, what is it, 80 cents? It's got to cool. Every stock has to cool, okay? It's just, that's what it is. That's how it goes. Big hedgies, they want their profit taking. Everyday people want to profit take. It gives you an opportunity to profit take and get in lower. Do you, you do you. Try to run it up from here, but uh, you're playing with fire. You got to 
much better upside opportunity in Sam RX. Yeah, and even TNXP was up like 50% and then up again today. But it wasn't no 200%, right? So still opportunity there. And then SIGA is holding strong really well today. But CMRX is my personal choice. The price is nice and low. So that's attractive. The float isn't too bad. It's like 70 mil. GovX is 12. TNXP is like 30. So that's why GovX moved quicker because it just it can move quicker on less volume because it's lower volume float. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's any better than any of these other plates. Okay, TNXP already has, or CM, CMRX already has, Chimerix already has like sales, already has people that want their drug and stuff like that. So that's why I'm in on that. Uh, that's pretty much all I have to say. There is one, Ayla, A-Y-L-A. It's got the same news as a, on it as AGP or whatever. Uh, whereas they, they had like, they were good to do an offering and then they just rescinded it. So that's why it was up today and it could be a multi-day runner. I did not enter today. If it is going to run, if it is going to run tomorrow, uh, sorry about that. It's a fucking car coming out of nowhere, speeding in rush hour. It's like everyone's going 10 and he flies by me at like 70. Fucking idiot. So, uh, anyways, um, if it runs tomorrow again, I'm probably just going to get in and ride the wave and watch it bounce off of, uh, 18 MA and the second it breaks, I'm just going to peel out. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do, I'll probably hit it once, maybe twice if it runs. And if it doesn't run good, then it confirms the fact that I, uh, or it confirms, it validates that not, not entering it was the play all along. So that's my video for you guys tonight. Uh, maybe I'll be live tomorrow. Most likely we'll see. Uh, 